Hello everyone and welcome to this horse gear stream summary. Henrik streamed 4 hours long again and answered some questions from the stream. And I just watched it for 4 hours and took notes and really write down everything that he said. And I will summarize it very quick for you here. If I don't specify the things, then Henrik don't specify it. So don't be confused here. These are all the informations we got. And while I were reading all this, we were running here in the Moki forest. Link to Henrik's stream is in the description. And let's start. This is the Campadon and it will be in-game again of course and will drop a huge amount of stacks of carcass. Henrik didn't specify it what materials you get out of there and now for all upcoming stuff if i don't say any info about that then henrik didn't say anything about this here the new mountain spider and here we have the second variant of the spider with hair these are the original mountain spider from mortal online one of course now reworked and looking much much better okay now to the horse gear it is now craftable and it needs primary points. You need horse armor skills in the skill tree. You will need of course the material laws, the skill laws and all the other laws, like a normal crafting with armor for example. The first one was the middle class, this is the heavy class armor. There will be bags for mounts like small, light, large, medium and heavy bags. If you're having a heavy armor like this on your horse, you won't be able to have the large bags, you can only have the small bag. The lighter your horse armor, the more speed you have with your horse. Same for any other mounts of course. In the future there's planned to have uh, armors on pets too. Like for example a bear in armor. I still hope that we get a rabbit armor. The horse armor types are medium, light and heavy. Peria Campodon will be a problem because of the massive force, the massive kilograms, the massive impact. You will get a lot of damage through your parry. Same with many other creatures. So there will be an impact system. Veterinary and trading pets is on the to-do list. And trading pets is a necessity for even the beta, so it will be implemented soon. Murland will have reworked resources and placement of all the stuff. For example, the Zabura was a Murinko was an accident and uh, they will look closer in the resource balance of the cities and all the areas and uh, they will completely rework that. Knockdown resistance glade gift will come, it's still missing. I think it was for the Orkmeers. Keep spots will be added soon, all the other available keep spots on the whole Merland map because they also want feedback from the community and they gather the old feedback from Mortal Online 1 and uh, then placed it um, um, accordingly now in Mortal Online 2. But uh, there's still feedback required so yeah check the link in the description and write in the forums your ideas, your feedback and your suggestions anyway, anytime. Mage balance will come in reagent prices and amounts of materials but he has not specified that. They will add the variety of horses first, uh, then the Lucators, uh, then the Molvas and uh, then all the other stuff and uh, then the mountable system where it's depending on weight and on size if you can mount that creature and on your character size of course. Changing the armor while riding a horse is not possible because if you have slow speed then you can just unequip it and if you see a fighter then you can equip it and no that's a no-no um, you have to, to uh, dismount and uh, then change the armor. Um, pigeons will be added to the game to send letters for example and uh, maybe a postal system um, he doesn't, didn't specify that because uh, there is no global um, system there's no global chat system so this could be an alternative. More more face customizations will come to the character creation, like you know it from other games, to further customize uh, your character and make it more unique. And trees will be able to cut down down the line, but uh, it's a future for the next years. Um, depending on uh, the resources uh, that you can cut down trees and they will regrow and even entire forests and stuff. Guild functions and housing will be changed and added and he's not sure how far it will go. Taming will not be changed, it will have the action skills, it will require action skills because it's a whole new profession and it will not go into the secondary um, tree like the profession tree, it will stay in the action tree. The game will be available on Steam and on the Epic Game Store when Persistence comes. Spiritism is worked on and will be in-game before Necromancy. Henrik showed his bank and uh, this is Ochmium. Yeah, it is golden now. And here's uh, the new um, book for the pet uh, armor crafting. There will be a natural um, horse and pet and mount behavior. They had that in Model Online 1 and it didn't work well. But small stuff will be added that your horse feel more like a horse and not like a vehicle. But it mainly is just a vehicle. Head turning will be in-game. But not right now, that you can just turn your head while you're running in one direction for example. It's planned for much much later. Many other features will come down the line and after persistence all this stuff here is uh, nearly, nearly not at persistence and um, will be added much much later. The one character per account will stay and will not be changed. Because with the many characters uh, this was a design flow and uh, that um, uh, was not good. And I agree with that on Henrik. I mean after 11 years Model Online 1, yeah I can clearly uh, say that one character per account 
makes much more sense. Housing will be added close after persistence depending on uh, if it's ready then. Alchemy will be reworked. It's just scratched the surface right now and I mean it's, it's really complicated but that uh, will even go deeper with the poison, the stamina, the mana potions it's all, and all the other stuff and many more ingredients, many more combination stuff and, and all much much deeper system but it's already really deep. The website is rebuilt. They completely rebuilt the website. Look at that, linked in the description. Ping optimization is coming. Writing books and paintings will be able to Mortal Online 2 like it was in Mortal Online 1. Rope armor will come for persistence and one more armor but you don't want to reveal that. Spaces in guild names will be possible. Fishing will be added as soon as possible. If you build a city with a guild for example and you don't store valuable uh, resources there then Henrik has a solution. Um, there will be some uh, magic banks and um, other magic stuff and, and I, I don't, uh, it didn't specify that exactly. But uh, that some kind of your stuff is safe. And then the pole and spear animation will have a rework, will get better animations. Mounts will support multiple players depending on the mount of course and um, yeah, how much uh, the mount can carry and um, also player wagons will be added um, where uh, many people could uh, be transported. Guards not really reacting to uh, pet killing will be fixed and uh, the guards will be more powerful and heal also innocent people and uh, their pets. And cities will be much more secure that um, hardcore griefing like <coughs> the gutter snipes do all the time will be not so easy anymore. Springwalk mounting will maybe be possible depending on your weight and um, the size of the springwalk and some other stuff. Siege timers will never come to the game and siege windows and stuff never ever will something like this go into the game. There are mechanics that can prevent ninja sieges like uh, NPC guards and stuff you can you can uh, hire and uh, equip and, and, and so on but no more specifications uh, there. More stuff will be added that you are able to gain standings with uh, the nations. Dagger fighters and mages will be better in the future. Dagger fighters for example gain an advantage when the poison system comes into the game and mages also with the uh, um, new magic schools and some other tweaks. There are also much more horse armor styles planned. There will be a Kurita one, a Tudemic one and uh, yeah, all the others. Henrik will also play Mortal Online undercover like a normal player if he has the time and uh, then he can enjoy the game he ever wanted to play like a normal player like we all do. A lot of unique mysteries will be added like it was in Mortal Online 1. Of course not the same. Poker tournaments, um, card games, Card board games, board games and all the other stuff will be added into the game to have a more roleplay feeling and um, yeah, to have uh, more fun inside towns and just a chill out area. Before persistence, Conflux owners will get an email where you can um, reserve your name. More troll types are coming. Persistence will be so soon because um, Hendrik will wanted just to complete the core first, then launch persistence and then going in all the other features and details and stuff. There will be no global chat in Mortal Online 2 and the help chat will be restricted to Haven only. But uh, there will be other communication tools like um, letters and pigeons. GMs will be external only and will not be players in any way. There will be no main quest line, there will be no quests uh, anyway. The community right the history, the players write the history like it was in Mortal Online 1 with all the wars, with all the other stuff. So no quests and just my personal opinion, yeah that is good. This game don't need quests. If you are a mainstream guy that uh, like quests, please play some other game. You have to search your purpose in Mortal Online 2 like you do in real life. More creatures will come to the world, more spawners of course so that the world feels more alive. There will be little animals like snakes, squirrels, and some other small animals that you can hunt down of course. Many 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 fish, fish, fishing varieties, many fishes will come to the game and many more tweaks to the whole fishing system that it feels more like a fishing simulator. And last but not least Tindrum will be extended and will get a lot of optimization and a lot of stuff. I'm very excited about it and I hope uh, there will be the sewers again. So I hope you liked uh, this summary, it was a lot of work. If you have feedback please leave it in the Mortal Online 2 forums or here under the video. I will summarize all this and post it anyway. So special thanks to my Patreon supporters Carmel, the Dragon Slayer, and Dexter and all the others. Please like and subscribe, would be really awesome from you. And as always, remember to make party art! Goodbye!